<laughs> Who's more valuable to the Cowboys, Dak or Zeke? I think it's the chicken and the egg theory here because I think, look, I think Dak has played marvelous. Yesterday was outstanding. Zeke is tremendous. But the offensive line, for me, really what makes a difference. And I think when you look at those Giants teams that won the Super Bowl, it was their offensive line. So if I have to answer the question, I'm going to say Zeke, and here's why. Because third and one is the hardest play come playoff time. And that game yesterday was a playoff type game. And Zeke can convert those third and ones to whether it's blocked or not blocked. And I think he keeps things going. So for me, it's Zeke, but I think the offensive line is the reason they're so good. Go ahead, Skip. Go ahead. I, I, don't, even, I don't even want to follow up with that. <laughs> I, I know where it's going, so don't worry, yeah. Skip. Talk. Quarterback is the most valuable position in all of sports. It's also the hardest to play. And what Dak Prescott has done as a rookie fourth-round quarterback for the whole franchise is staggering to me because against long odds with a Tony Romo slowly but surely ready to come back and an owner that clearly wants Tony reinserted in the starting lineup, Dak Prescott played a second half for the ages yesterday. When you go 14 for 17 in the second half for 161 yards, and again, he had some help from Zeke, but six out of eight on third down, some of them were pinpoint passes too. He's deadly accurate when he has to be accurate. And the clutch gene is high in this kid because now we've seen it three times. He almost pulled it off on opening day against the Giants. Then we, he did pull it off against the Eagles in, at Jerry World. And then he pulled it off against Ben in Pittsburgh with 42 seconds left. And to me, he's changed the whole culture of the team because – the defense is believing it can play a little better than it should play. It'll make an occasional play to keep them in the football game. And it's all inspired by the quarterback play because everybody trusts that the quarterback is going to do what needs to get done. They're trusting the quarterback in ways they never trusted Tony Romo. And even yesterday, I, I hear you on those third downs. He missed one of them. He got stuffed on one of them. But, but he's very good because he hits the hole so hard and he can cut so quick on a dime at the line of scrimmage and make the first guy miss, which is Emmett-like. But even yesterday, I don't know if Pittsburgh let him score from 14 on the, the second-to-last mm -hmm. touchdown. I, I don't know. It looked like they might have. I, I'm not sure, but he, he went to the – you know, sort of went around off right tackle and he just had a walk-in touchdown from 14 before Ben went the other way to score. So that's 14 yards. Then we talked early in the show. He hit a crack against a, just an all-out blitz, and it was the perfect play, perfect place, perfect time, and he goes 32 yards untouched for a touchdown. So that's 46 yards, but, but if you subtract the 46 from his 114, the rest of the day he went 19 times for 68 yards, which is 3.6 a, a carry. He was having a hard time, like – like a lot of teams might have at, but they, at Pittsburgh. But he got them ahead on the first down. I mean, they were really – for your he Scott Lenahan and as a first down play caller, they were first, second and four, second and five. I, he controls They were also third and pace. 11 at one point, and, and he, Dak made he, the sweetest little move in the pocket and hit Dan up the sideline yeah, no, I, I, on, look, a, I, on a rope right there for 50 yards and a touchdown. I, I get that, but I think that when you look at it, that what this kid does in the backfield – what he, he's able to convert those key downs. And, and look, the, those are the ones that – Jerome Bettis did it for the Steelers. When I was in Oakland, Zach Crockett did it. You have to be – look at the New England game yesterday. Fourth and goal from – third and goal from the one. I, if Zeke would have been the back when Blunt had a chant when he dove, it's a touchdown. But I, I think that – I get your point on Dax completely. I think Dax has played outstanding. And I think all this is a residue of the offensive line. You know what, Michael, you make it so easy, and I hate you for this – to agree with Skip Bayless. I don't <laughs> like agreeing with Skip because he's wrong on so many occasions. But like not, none? Like, and then her come, you come out here, Lombardi, and then I have to agree. I have to agree with Skip because <laughs> I agree. Think about, let me ask you a question. Okay. If Zeke is the running back and Matt Castle, Brandon Whedon, Kellen Moore, is their record the same thing? No, I, I would say that. I didn't say he wasn't playing well. You no, asked no, no. if he was the MVP. Yes. You, you phrased the question. I mean, the question wasn't, is, is he better than Kellen Moore? I mean, you're a, a, introducing a different subject into this question. No, actually, you asked I'm not. me who the MVP was. The MVP for me is the offensive line. But if I have to give it to anybody, I'm going to give it to the back because the back right there controls it. I think Dak is playing really well. I don't dispute that whatsoever. I'm not, but I think he controls the pace of the game because one thing we saw in both games yesterday, the, 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 the late game mm -hmm. and the night game, was 
both all those defenses, with the exception of probably Seattle, is the offense has got to win the game. Yes. And you have to control the pace of the game. And if you don't control the pace of the game, which was the key to the Cowboy Steeler game, control yep. the pace. That's why the Steelers said, you know what? We'll let them score. Yep. Because, and you know what Mike Tomlin's kicking himself? Not for the extra points today. He's kicking himself for scoring too early. He knew it. You knew it. You knew it. 45 seconds. Now, maybe you didn't want to admit it, on, but you knew it. On the fake spike play. You, 